YouTube is a must use platform for influencers, coaches, authors, and freelancers. But what about local service based business owners like plumbers? It can seem like there's a disconnect between the offline services that they're offering and this online world, but there has never been a better time to be building both for your business. And in this episode, we bring you one of the Think Media success students, Roger Wakefield, a Texas based plumber who shares how he built his YouTube media empire with little to no experience. Even if you're not a local based business owner, his experience and tips that he shares in this podcast will help you take your YouTube game to the next level. Welcome to the Think Marketing Show, the number one podcast for growing and scaling your business with online video. I'm your host, Heather Torres. And I'm Sean Cano, and we're from Think Media. And if this is your first time listening, we are fired up, you're here. This show is dedicated to helping you learn how to get your content noticed and the latest money-making strategies that are working right now online. So whether you wanna grow your YouTube channel or you're ready to maximize video across all of social media, then this podcast is for you. Well, thank you so much, Roger, for being on the podcast today. I'm excited to bring your story and your knowledge and your expertise to the Think Marketing podcast community. Heather, thank you for the opportunity. I appreciate it. Well, Roger, you know, you are a well-established plumber in Dallas. Is that correct? Dallas? Absolutely. Yes. And you've been doing this for uh, decades. Is that correct? (laughs) I started plumbing 40 years ago. 40 years ago, and this has got to be all new to you, right? YouTube and understanding online marketing. Walk us through your journey to even getting started on YouTube. What sparked it, and why did you decide that this was the platform that you wanted to actually start investing in? I got tired of getting ripped off by OPM marketing, other people's money, and I call them other OPM marketing companies. We were trying to make a phone ring at a plumbing company and we were trying new marketing companies. Nobody would ever make it happen the way we thought it should. And we kept trying new companies and we'd give them you know, six months or a year and we'd move to somebody else. And we literally started hiring companies that would make our phones stop ringing, meaning whatever they were doing, the phones quit ringing and it was killing us. So we're part of an organization, it's called Success Group International and they work with plumbers, roofers, electricians and HVAC techs. I had gone to the first event with them and I thought it was really wonderful, but I realized the people that they had teaching us marketing are just selling us their marketing plan. They're just selling us SEO. And I decided I wanna learn something different. I wanted to learn social media. Well, I used to get up every morning, get on the treadmill and listen to Gary Vee, uh, different people. And somehow I found uh, a founder magazine, Nathan Chan, interviewing Michael Stelzner. And I listened to it and he was talking about social media marketing world. So I came to work the next day and told my wife, I said, look, I wanna go to this, I want to do this. And we looked at our budget and we said, look, it's really tight, but you know what, if you think that's what it's gonna take, go ahead. So I showed up in San Diego, it was two weeks before the event, so I paid full price for a ticket. It was two weeks before, so I got there, got my flat book, got my hotel book. I showed up an hour early because that's just me. I'm an early riser. I walked into the convention center. The doors were open. So I went down to the registration, said, look, can I go ahead and register? I'm here. Young lady registered me and she looks down at her list and says, okay, you're a plumber. I'm going to find some plumbers for you to hang out with. Mm. And she looks and she said, okay, there's no plumbers here. Who else would you hang out with? And I explained residential service people. I said, you know, electricians, HVAC techs, roofers, landscapers, window cleaners, anything like that. And she looks down the list and she looks up at me almost brokenhearted and she says, Roger, I'm sorry, there's nobody here like you. Mm. And I just started smiling from ear to ear and I thought, oh my gosh, this is crazy. And she looked at me and she says, I don't know who you're gonna hang out with. I said, don't worry about me, I'm gonna be good. The second day that I was there, I was walking to a different session and I saw the placard set up that talked about Daryl Eves and it was using video to get in front of your customer, something like that. And it was so funny and I'll tell you how little I knew about social media when I walked in and sat down and I'm one of these front row guys. I'm ADD so you know people moving around, uh, I lose focus and I'm on the front row and I'm watching him and he said, 
YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. Mm -hmm. And I almost got up and walked out because I thought this guy has no idea what he's talking about. YouTube is just a storage place for videos. And I just, I did, I just, I sat there and I, I kept listening and he started talking about the squatty potty and everything he had done and it blew my mind. And I knew right then that I was going to start doing YouTube and we released our first real video a month later and we've done three a week every week since then. That's amazing. You've now grown this YouTube channel to, uh, right now it's at 27 thousand subscribers that are interested in plumbing and all things to do with you know the things that you are talking about that is amazing and now that you've been doing this roger for some time now what do you think uh the benefits of having you know marketing your business on youtube what has that done to your overall business and your overall brand even personally and and for the business that you're running the first thing that it did is we quit spending money on google meaning we used to buy google adwords now, like you said earlier, I'm in Dallas. My competition, they do about 55, 65 million dollars a year as a plumbing company. We're a million dollar a year company, nothing big, small, boutique, perfect, we wanna do things right all the time. But I can't compete with those Google ad dollars like that. Literally for pay-per-click, plumbing here in Dallas can get upwards of $150 a click. Mm -hmm. Now that's not a call, that's not a customer, that's just somebody clicking on your video, I mean on your ad. Mm -hmm. We're not doing that anymore. We literally started making YouTube content, and I love it because a lot of YouTube people tell me, well, you can't brand YouTube locally. And I'm like, okay, you keep thinking that. I love it because we are. Yes. And we're making it work. And I cannot tell you how many calls we get a day to say, hey, look, we saw Roger on YouTube, and we've got a question. And most of the time the calls are from around here but i mean we've had calls we had a call a funny call one afternoon a lady from south carolina calls and says hey my water heater's making noises i need to talk to roger right now because it's going to blow up and you know they they laugh around here they're like hey look it's not going to blow up roger's not in but let me get you with another plumber so it's crazy but it has worked yeah it, it seems as i know you know building a local business through uh, the ability to build no like and trust with your audience you're on camera they're seeing you they know you and when you invite a plumber into your home or anyone that's working in your home you don't really necessarily know who they are before they get there and this is helping you you and your whole entire team to be pre-qualified i'm sure to allow people to go hey i know roger and they know the quirky things about you and you become the roger who lives next door right you become the plumber they recommend because they have on their own built no like and trust with you and we change that just a little bit we go with no love trust and connect mm. because now they're connected they we they invite me into their house they invite me into their car to listen to me driving home they invite me on a workout with them if they're listening to the audio and that's what i used to do on the treadmill i'd set the ipad up but i'm listening mm -hmm. i may be watching i may not but i'm listening and that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to talk to people about plumbing problems or how to become a prob uh, plumber or how to fix the problems of starting your own company or how to grow it. Mm -hmm. So it's really been great. That's amazing. And I just, I love the the community I, I was in. I love going in and watching the videos that uh, of the people that we're interviewing and the people like you who are speaking at Grow With Video Live this year. I wanna see what you're doing. And the community you're building around plumbing. Guys, this is what we mean when we say that video, that YouTube specifically, could blow up your brand. The reason for that is because you're creating people that have like-minded interests, that are that want to know and that have a problem. You become their problem solver. And I've been able to see, Roger, the community that you guys are creating around plumbing. It's funny you put it that way because, I mean, you know who Michael Stelzner is. Mm -hmm. I got a phone call a couple of weeks ago, and actually it started as a LinkedIn connection, but Bruce Irvin called mm -hmm. and said, I want to put you on my podcast. And I said, why would you want me on your podcast? He said, well, it's funny. I was talking or interviewing Michael Stelzner, and Michael Stelzner, he asked him a question about using YouTube for local branding. And Michael Stelzner started laughing and said, look, you want to talk about YouTube and local branding, you need to interview Roger Wakefield. He's killing it. Mm -hmm. And it's just kind of crazy the way 
You're right. It gets out there and people see what you're doing. In celebration of the launch of this brand new podcast, we're giving away two tickets to our annual conference, Grow With Video Live, a $1,500 value. All you have to do to enter is make sure you subscribe, leave us a review on Apple Podcast, and then take a screenshot of your review and go to thinkmarketingshow.com for the rest of the details. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've become not only just an authority in the industry that you're in, but now you've grown to a wider audience and being able to be the person that can help other business owners in the trades that you're in. So that's what I wanna get into next. I love to give tangible tips to our audience. And so Roger, if you're speaking to, you know, the guy who's an electrician or someone who is, uh, um, you said, working on air conditions or, or a painter or a carpenter, someone that's in those trade industries, Let's give them three practical things that they can do to grow their business using YouTube. And tip number one you said was actually get started. Go ahead and tell me about that. Well, think about what I told you about me going to social media marketing world. We literally, it when I was there in 18, it was Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Now, I had to leave before the keynote on Friday because I had a radio show in Dallas Saturday morning. On the way home that night on the plane I am going through my notes I'm trying to come up with a plan what do I want to do after the radio show the next day I came back to the office going through my notes again Uh, my wife and I got up Sunday morning went to church took her home dropped her off came back to the office going through my notes again and when my wife and my stepson Will he's my CMO my digital overlord all kinds of crazy titles but When they came in Monday morning, I said, guys, look, we're changing things and we're changing it right now. And I think that's the key thing that people need to understand. Get started now. And if I would have walked in the office Monday morning and let the plumbing company take over, man, plumbing happens every day. And if I would have walked in and not got started, I would not be doing what I'm doing now. I would still be plumbing. And, you know, maybe this week I'm saying, oh, gosh, you know what? Social media marketing world's going on. I ought to go learn something again. Maybe I'll learn something better. It's not what we learn, but it's what we do with it. And just getting started, and you're, if you get started now, you're going to be ahead of 95% of the country. And mm-hmm. that's going to help you in the long run. Yeah. And it's just the getting started part. It's getting over who, you know, I'm not a plumber. I mean, I am a plumber. I'm not a YouTuber. So let's talk about number two, which is learn the tools. The thing that I realized coming home from social media marketing world was I just found a whole bunch of new tools, meaning I found YouTube. I found video. I found social media. I met people from across the country that were great resources that I could talk to, that I could reach out to, that I could learn from. That first social media marketing world, I sat in Sean's class. I sat in Pete Vargas's and everybody had something different, but it was all, look, there's a right way to reach out and engage your community, grow a community and be part of the community. And what I realized is it's just like a plumbing tool. If a new tool comes out and I don't learn how to use it, it's never going to help me. But YouTube, these cameras, these microphones, it started with my phone. And and then a cheap computer camera uh, got a Logitech. And it's grown from that. I'm looking at a Sony and a Canon right now. But that's not what I started with. But if I would have waited until I could afford all the equipment that I wanted to use, I'd never get started. I increase, I improve 1% at a time. Mm -hmm. Every video, we try to do one thing better. Let's focus on this, let's focus on this, let's do one thing better. The tools that are in front of us, if we learn to use them the right way, we can do anything we wanna do. And that's what I walked away with at Social Media Marketing World is look, I've got a whole bunch of new tools. Do I go home and put them on a shelf or do I pull them out and learn how to use them very, very well? Yeah, and it's so critical that you know we we aren't uh, taken back by the tech. 
The tech really is something that holds so many business owners back. And I mean, you went to school, you went, you you had to learn the trade, you did an apprenticeship. You have to still be in this phase of just learning. You know, the first time you did a video, Roger, I'm sure it probably was not your your best video. Is that correct? <laughs> and, and I'll leave it up there. I, I remember Sean talking one time about some of his first videos. Mm -hmm. And and it's funny because we just had this conversation yesterday. Will walked in the office. He said, look, I've come back through our channel. There's a lot of videos that still don't have but you know, 25, 30 views. They're really not very good. Uh, do we want to go ahead and delete them? And I'm like, no. Mm -hmm. And he's like, why? I said, you know what? Because I tell people all the time, look, go look when I started. Mm -hmm. I was horrible. Mm -hmm. but, but you know what? At least I was trying. At least I was getting up and doing it. And you know what? When people said, hey, your, your lighting is no good. It's like, well, okay, how do I make it better? What do I do? or I'd look it up and <laughs> it is what it is. People are going to hate you. People are going to love you. I get comments all the time telling me, you know, I want to become a plumber now. I watched your videos. I don't want to go to college. I don't, I didn't know what else to do, but I love what you're talking about. And whether they just the passion that they see or the fact that I really love what I do, I'm using a whole new tool talking to a whole new group of people. And to me, that's what it's all about. Yeah, it's amazing what these tools can uh, to, can gift us. You, like you said, the idea to be able to talk to the other person on camera. But I know that that is actually something that holds people back. You know, when you click that record button, when you turn it on, when you set up your microphone, you get ready for me when I do my hair, my makeup and, and all those things, it can feel so intimidating because you start thinking about yourself and like, am I gonna sound good? Is this about me? But tip number three is to always think about the person on the other side of the camera. How has that helped you in developing out your YouTube strategy? The thing is, I never think about me. It's, and I mean, look, I don't have much hair to fix, so I really don't have to worry about that. My makeup is perfect every day. <laughs> My thing is, I understand that I'm talking to somebody. You know, getting to talk to you earlier, uh, watching you do an interview earlier. I know your story from setting in Sean's sessions. So I feel like I know you. Mm -hmm. And when I look at this camera, that, that's who I'm talking to. When I'm making a video talking about plumbing at someone's house or how to get into the trade or something, I'm literally thinking about that person sitting on the other side of the camera mm -hmm. watching me that wants to know what do I have to do to become a plumber? Or what do I have to do if my water heater is making noise? And I think that if everybody who makes a video, number one, look at that lens, look at that camera right in the eye and connect with it because there is somebody on the other side looking you right in your eyes that wants to learn whatever it is you're talking about. And if we always think about the person on the other side, we're gonna connect with somebody and it does, it makes such a big difference. Yeah, I, I've noticed that even in how, what we're doing here at Think Media and, and at Think Marketing is the idea that I wanna create content for you. You know, if you're listening to this podcast right now, I know so many things about you just because of the type of content that we are creating here, what, what we're niching down into. And so Roger, I love that you said that it's not about you, it's about the person on the other side and the connection that you can have with them. I am so excited, Roger, for you to be one of the speakers this year at Grow With Video Live. We have, this is the number one video marketing conference here in the US, and we want to bring people just like Roger to you here at the Think Marketing Podcast, but at our live event that's happening in September here in Las Vegas. And Roger, I know you're gonna be sharing some amazing tips on how you've used YouTube to grow your local business, and you're gonna be a resource there to be able to connect with other people, just like when you were at Social Media Marketing World and they said, there's no one here for you. We're making sure that here at Grow With Video Live, there's someone for you. So Roger, what are you excited about this year um, for Grow With Video Live? Heather, the neat thing to me is one of the things that I teach about is networking. And my wife and I are into networking. That's how she's grown her business. That's how I started growing the plumbing company. But I remember when she first told me to go networking, I thought, you know, I'm a plumber. Plumbers don't network. But I do, I get out and I network. And it's funny because the first time we walked into an event together, she took me dragging and screaming. But what I did is I told her, look, you go your way, I'm gonna go mine. We're not here to hang out together. Let's see how this works. 
At the end of the night, she came up to me and she says, oh, my God, Roger, every time I looked up, you've got a crowd around you. You've got your arms going and you're, you're, you're talking and, and you're all this. She said, what, what were you doing? I said, well, people had plumbing problems. They asked me questions. I was just tell them what's going on, what's happening with it. And that's what I think a lot of people need to learn is learn to network, learn to build that relationship. Because whether you're in a room with somebody, Heather, or you're in social media, you're building a relationship. And think about it. If somebody walks up to you at a, an event anywhere and just says, hey, look, I've got, a, I've got something I'm selling. And I want to sell it to you now. Sign the paper here. Let me get your address and all this. You're like, you know what? Back up. Mm-hmm. But people try to do that on social media all the time. Learn to build the relationship first. And if you build that relationship, you can become the person that people know, love, trust, and connect with. And that's huge. That's amazing, Roger. I am really, really excited for the Think Media community to get to see you in person on stage at Growth Video Live. And thank you so much for your time today. And I can't wait to see you in September. Heather, thank you. This has been wonderful. And I've really been looking forward to this because being in Sean's sessions before, I've heard your story and I love what you're doing. And I tell people all the time, look, this lady's doing phenomenal things. You can do it too because we've all got a story. We've all got a passion. And we all, I think deep inside, want to reach out and help other people. So thank you for this. I do. I love what you're doing. Wow, that was actually a really great interview with Roger. I totally agree, man. I'm so inspired by Roger. And what I love is the fact that he just took massive action. You know, it could be scary, especially when video is not your main thing. YouTube, social media is new to you. But as a business owner, he realized how important and powerful it was. And he's just experienced massive momentum because he pressed record. Yeah, and I love that Roger's going to be speaking this year at Grow With Video Live. And if you would like to get your tickets to Grow With Video Live and see some of the amazing deals we have right now, you can go to growwithvideolive.com and you can see all of the speakers that will be here this year. But before we go, we want you to take out a notebook right now. You just watched that whole interview with Roger. And I want to know, what is one action that you're going to take? What's something you're going to do to move your business forward? Yes. And we also want to give a shout out to the review of the week. And here's what it says. My twin brother and I have learned so much from Sean's YouTube content in such little time compared to what a traditional college course would teach. The great thing is with us having business management degrees, we have a good understanding of core business principles, but Sean's content has helped us easily identify how that translates to online video. It's always about influence, income, and impact. Thank you so much for leaving that review. And uh, we didn't leave a name there. So actually, if you haven't rated and reviewed this podcast, definitely do that. Let us know your name so we can shout you out and maybe feature you in one of these weekly comment audience community shout outs. And if you didn't know, we're actually giving away two tickets to Grow a Video Live if you rate and review the podcast while we're just launching the Think Marketing Show. We're in the early episodes still, and we're so pumped that you've been a part of this journey with us. So if you go to thinkmarketingshow.com, you can get details about how to go through a few simple steps to just rate, review the podcast, and then you'll be entered to win two tickets to hear from Roger, to hear from Heather Torres, and all of our other great speakers. Yeah, and if you want to be a part of the Think marketing community here. You can subscribe wherever you're listening, or if you're on YouTube, you can subscribe right there and leave us a comment, rate us and review us like Sean just said. But if you're listening and watching on YouTube, we would love to connect with you in the comments below. Thanks for listening to this episode. And we'll see you in the next one.